Hi guys, I'm Dr. James Simcock and I'm from Vet Dojo. I'm really, really excited to talk to you today because I'm here to introduce our new module on medial patella luxation in dogs. The techniques and procedures described there can also be used in cats, but the focus of the course is on dogs. Um, we're really excited to have that out there. It's been a bit of a long time in the making. We've had a lot of stuff going on in our clinic that have uh, slowed down the production of this particular module, but now it's up there. I think that there's gonna be some really great content for you guys to get your teeth stuck into. I think it's a really great topic to put up there. Um, I think it's one that we see all the time in practice, both in specialty practice that I deal in and also in general practice. So you know, I actually remember uh, various time points in my career when I've been dealing with patelluxation and really recognizing that there are a lot of controversies and a lot of challenges and a lot of different opinions surrounding this condition. So this content in this course is really aimed at trying to um, address some of these issues and really do a deep dive into it, what these um, controversies are and really look at the decision making that I use to treat and manage this condition. And I think that, you know, oftentimes um, patelluxation is kind of, I think of it like an iceberg. And what I mean by that, well, I think we tend to underestimate it. I think we focus on what we think is a simple thing, the patelluxation, and think we can fix every case with a, a tibial crest transposition. But as I say, I think we underestimate it. And if we do that um, in every case, then we're gonna run into some problems. So this module will go through um, a lot of the different issues surrounding um, the potential complications and, and challenges that we come up against. And I think there's really gonna be some content in there for, for surgeons of all ability levels. So recent graduates all the way through to experienced surgeons. and we often get questions and um, comments from uh, experienced veterinarians, been out eight to 10 years, and they comment on the fact that they are now in a position where they, they find themselves in the senior veterinary role within the practice. And they're now having a lot of newer graduates come and talk to them um, and ask them questions about different conditions. And, and they're really getting stressed because they're not being able to come up with the answers that they would like to um, because they don't have the detail. Of, they've not um, had a look at that information for a long time. So this course is really aimed at um, people of all ability levels. So if you're interested in the course, um, head over to vetdojo.com. There is a link in the description below. Um, as I say, we think you're gonna get something out of there. There's a bunch of videos on um, the procedure itself, the narrated videos. Um, and there's also some 3D anatomy videos that we put in there. Uh, so I think there's a lot of great material. So head to vetdojo.com, click on the link below, and hopefully we'll see you all there.